between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Tonight, it's a compelling late-season clash here in Week 16 between the Toronto Thunderbirds taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for our visitors from north of the border, it's been perfection so far. They come in here unbeaten at 14-0. And just two wins away from doing something only two teams have ever done. But the most important thing for them now is to make it to the postseason in one piece. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. They start the drive with Vaughn. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. On the counter, it's Vaughn. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Three yards on the pick up there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's free at the 35. Michael Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal. And it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. It's hard to be frustrated when you throw for nearly 400 yards, but I know he wanted to break that barrier. I think he got the pain eased a little bit when they named him NFC Offensive Player of the Week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you get the award, you know you had the best week in the conference. You let it slide, but... Hey, that number well within his range. You know he's got the arm to do it in this one. Call it a gain of a yard, and that will bring up second down. Levis to throw it. Being chased out left. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him. And we'll step aside for a moment. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. 
He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. He was out there waving his arms. When I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Trying to get it with Snell. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And it's caught. Touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Thunderbirds respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Holding offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Here's third and nine. To throw is Prescott. but he missed him and it's incomplete and that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game give up a first drive touchdown go back out on defense and completely shut them down before it's a three and out back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the three, second and a yard. Levis sets up to throw here. Touchdown! Jalen Guyton, his first touchdown on the year. And his guys have taken the lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7. to And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. On second down, it's Vaughn. No, he faked it with a jump. Now he's got some room. A big hitter there. First down gain of 26 yards. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. Here's Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Looking to throw. Prescott, throw right side, taken in by Gallup. Seven yards there and a first down. Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, it's Prescott. Buying. Oh, Prescott stripped. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Santos' kick is up and through, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And that flag accepted. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. From the red zone now, Prescott. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing. Prescott. That's Gallup on the slant. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Santos' kick is up and through, but now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And they'll accept that penalty. 
So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Now Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A second down throw for Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. The kick is through the uprights to tie this game, but hang on a second. We do have a flag. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Levis looking to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. One final shot before the half. Here's Levis. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost a will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? They'll run on first down. Jordan. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, it's Jordan. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured up to the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Working from the gun, here's Levis. Flushed out right. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And Charles, you think about this offense, it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0, looking to see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where guys are getting a little banged up. Maybe could use some time sharing, some time on the bench, just to rest. How do you approach the rest of this regular season? I'm telling you, you don't ask the easy stuff, do you? I mean, you created a heck of a situation there, and actually you didn't create it. You presented it, and you're exactly right. It is tricky because you're up. Well, the ball's loose. Levis has it knocked free. Well, offensively lucky they were able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it, 
that changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to come onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. On first down, Jordan. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. here in week 16. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. It's second and seven from the nine. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Thunderbirds answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. A try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive spans 13 plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And for them right now, not a done deal. They are holding down one of the final three wild card spots with two weeks to go. But, you know, there are others, Charles, kind of nipping at their heels a bit. And, Brandon, it's always worth keeping in mind, and I have to keep writing it down for myself. Remember, it's seven teams in each conference now making the playoffs. So that brings more important games to the end of the season. So, in theory, more teams alive for postseason berth later in the year. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Prescott to throw it. And that is incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And they will take over first and 10. Play action now. Levis. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll try the left side. It's Jordan, and he is going to lose yardage here. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Back to throw, it's Levis. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
this a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances of trying to win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. And a short gain here down to the 22. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Back to throw, Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And his kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal right there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So Dak and the Cowboys down 24-14. Just over a minute, 40 to play. They're going to need a Christmas miracle to pull this one out as they've got it first and 10. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And the Cowboys, first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Prescott. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career, and he parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. Third and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Jordan. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. 63 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if he picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to make second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. On 
fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou Country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. So fourth and goal, their head coach gave that offensive line one more chance to punch it in, and this time they were successful. They certainly paid off the coach's confidence, didn't they? And how about the fact that they stayed with the ground game? Because a lot of times in that situation, partner, we see teams try and roll the quarterback out, give him a little run-pass option, and treat it like a two-point conversion play. 